hello there. Okay, it's me. I'm back. Why can't I fit in this little seat? Okay. So I'm back. I've been gone for a while. I'm sorry I left you guys hanging with all the hair updates. Um, thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my old subscribers that keep commenting on my videos and watching and looking out. Um, okay, so let's get down to business. As far as hair growth and my updates, it's I, I don't really want to report anything because it's going to be too confusing. After I got after I did that video, I said I was going to only use the Shapely's, which I ended up mixing with jojoba oil because that makes your hair grow too, and the Shapely's is too slippery. Um, it's too thin thin, you know, watery. Um, and so, so after that video, I, I used the Shapely's for a week and then I got hair affinity because everyone was telling me after the Shapely's video, like, get some hair affinity, you know, this, this girl's hair grew, this girl's hair grew. So I was like, okay. <laughs> and I bought it and I got it like a, a couple days later and I started using it. So I only have like a week of the, um, Shapely's, um, experience. I can say one thing that it did help my edges out a little bit, and I'll try to show a before and after picture um, from the shape, please, because it did help my edges grow a little bit. And I'm sure if it helped my edges, it helped the rest of my hair. But then after I got the hair affinity and shape, please, I got a haircut. <laughs> and this was like a legit haircut. Like I told her not to cut off a lot, but she did one of the, it was a Divashon Diva train salon. So they cut each individual curl and make it look even. So she cut all these curls in the back to try to make it um, you know, shorter than these and just, I would say she cut about an inch off each curl from what I saw falling off, but I really don't know. But after I got my hair cut, I measured my hair a couple days later and it was about five and a half inches when the last video I reported, it was like seven and a half inches. So I don't know. I don't think she cut off, um, two inches, but I'm just telling you what I saw. So, um, then about a week later, which was last, um, I won't, which was like a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> a week later, um, I, I, um, measured my hair again and it was like six, around six inches. And I was measuring it because I was going to get Senegalese twists to go to Africa with them. Cause I didn't feel like having this in Africa. <laughs> because it's just too much maintenance for being in another country and I was like no I'm just gonna get them and they seem you know you know kind of like fitting to wear a Senegalese twist to Africa so I um I measured my hair before and that was it was it was about six and a quarter you know inches it didn't it wasn't a big deal and that was only like a, a week or less after I had measured it before so I didn't expect too much growth and then when I got back this was like a couple of days ago it was like seven and a half inches so maybe I mean I only do a couple of hairs at a time which I don't know why I do that because that's the dumb way to do it but now the majority of my hair in this region which I this is the region I measured in is seven and a half inches seven to seven and a half inches so I don't know it's so hard to tell you guys like a definite answer if the stuff works, which stuff works, which stuff doesn't work, because I was using them all at once, the Shapely's and the Hair Affinity. Um, but, uh, but yeah, I definitely know the Hair Affinity is working because there's no way my hair can grow an inch in 12 days normally, even if it, even if I started the Shapely's and then use Hair Affinity, and that up until now is like three weeks and I had a haircut in between like for it to grow even an inch in three weeks is like unheard of for me so I definitely know it's working and I'll try to do for now I, I use hair affinity and sometimes shapely so I don't know I don't know how to tell you I'm just gonna use both of them until I run out I'll be able to give you a definite you know anyways I'm sorry um so that's it as far as hair updates um Oh, the Senegalese twists I got were, were really cool. My dog's over there, like, flipping his toy around. Um, the Senegalese twists were really cool. I did them myself with some $2 hair, and they turned out, they turned out pretty good, um, except for the fact that I used gel on them, and they say, I, I read afterwards that you're not supposed to use gel because they can hold with dry hair. 
And so what I did was when I did them with the gel, um, they it made it look sleek when I first did it, and then when it dried, they all sprung out. So in the middle of my trip to Africa, like actually in the first couple days, this part was all frizzy and gross, and then the, the bottom was all beautiful and luxurious, and I was like, I don't want this. So I was wearing hats for two days, and then finally I decided to take them out and just wear my hair natural and do some hairstyles that you know I learned on YouTube. So the Senegalese twists are cool. Next time I'll do it professionally, maybe. Somebody told me that my hair is too too um, smooth. It doesn't have enough texture to for them to stay for a long time, to spend all that money and them not hold. But I, I love Senegalese twists so much now. Even the busted ones that I did, <laughs> I loved them. Um, so yeah. Um, so that's it for hair updates. Uh, I'm thinking of dyeing my hair black. That's another update. I, I don't know. Semi-permanent. So let me know what you think about that. I don't know. You think I look good with black hair? I better look good with black hair. That's my natural hair color. <laughs> okay, so anyways, I got something surprising. My first official giveaway. And guess what I'm giving away? Has nothing to do with hair, but it is beautiful. It's a purse, a, a, a purse. But it's not just any purse, it's a Christian Audigé purse. And if you don't know who Christian Audigé is, then you probably don't care, but he is the creator of Ed Hardy. And here's the official stamp, Christian Audigé in LA. Um, I'll show you close up of that. This purse is super huge. Look at all that space in there. Look at it. It fits my whole forearm. I have some pretty long forearms. I'm 5'11", so my forearms are pretty long. And if I put this on my head, it would be pretty... It would cover my whole face. So, this thing is super huge. It's really pretty. You can't really see it on me, but... Um, you know, if you like to carry a lot of stuff in your bag, then here you go. La, 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 la. So, um, yeah, that's how you're going to be walking around with it, too, singing la 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 la. Um, but yes, so this beautiful purse is going to be given away to one lucky subscriber. Have to be subscribed, people. It's given. You have to be subscribed. <laughs> and I will check. Um, so, rules. That's enough of that. Take your last look. Maybe one of you will get this. Definitely one of you will get this. So, rules. There is one mandatory rule, besides you having to be subscribed. What you have to do is you have to block Christine Vest on Twitter. It's supposed to be my official Twitter page, but I can't get into it. I don't remember the, well, I don't know the email anymore. And I tried the password, and it's not working, so I can't get into my Twitter. So I need you guys to block it so that I can get my name back, because I already created another official Twitter, and I want my name back, Christine Vest. So um, help me get my name back, and you must, must, must block Christine Vest, at Christine Vest on Twitter. You must. Um, and so that's a mandatory then you have to do one of the next three things. You can do two of the next three things, or you can do all of the next three things, but you have to at least do one. And those three things are, follow me on my new Twitter, which is at me, Chrissy V, Chrissy with one S, so at M-E-C-H-R-I-S-Y-B. That's the first thing. Or you can like me on my Facebook, facebook.com slash the official Christine Vest. There's another Christine Vest page out there that's me, but it's not me. It's it's official Christine Vest. But this one is called facebook.com slash the official Christine Vest. So follow me. If you don't want to do that, and you don't have a Facebook, then you're a loser. No, I'm joking. If you don't want to do that, then the last thing you have an opportunity to do is subscribe to my other YouTube page, which is just CV. I mean, C-Vest instead of 2C-Vest, like this one. So subscribe to that one. 
So you could do one of all those three or two of all those three or three of all those three. It's not going to up your chances to get the purse or lower them if to, to get the purse, but you have to do one of three. And the last thing you have to do is under this video, between now and the day before I announce the winner, which will be September 2nd, so between now and September 1st, 2011, at 11.59 p.m., <laughs> you have to write on this page in a comment, Audige me, and if you don't know how to spell Audige, I'll, I'll spell it for you, A-U-D-I-G-I-E-R. Let me um, just check to see if that is correct. <laughs> A U D. I G I E R. So you have to write Audige me. So like Audige me, like Audige me, you know, you know, like Audige me. <laughs> and then um, next to that, you can either put a colon or a dash or whatever. You have to put the things that you did. One of the three things that you did. So I'm gonna automatically believe and check to see if you're a subscriber. That's just one thing. So you don't have to put that you subscribe. I'm just going to assume because that's, you know, a given. And then you also have had to block Christine Vest. So you don't have to put that because everyone who enters has to block Christine Vest. But you do have to put the one or three things or two things that you did um, of the choices. So if you followed me on me, Chrissy V, then write, I followed you on me, Chrissy V. And if you did the Facebook, say, I liked you on Facebook. And if you did the YouTube, you subscribe to my other YouTube, say you subscribe. You know, just say, Ada Jamie, I did these three things. And so I'll know when I check, because I will check. So put your Twitter name. And then if you follow me on Facebook, if you like me on Facebook, put your Facebook name. And if you subscribe to my C Vest, then I'll just see your name anyway on C Vest. Because I am going to check people. I'm going to check. You have to do this. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all those names and write them down and put them in a hat. And on September 2nd, I'm going to pull them out the hat live on YouTube. And I'll post that video on September 2nd. And this is international. It's for anybody. Um, so just enter. I mean, this purse is a pretty big deal. Um, I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to enter. It's free. It's a free purse. All you have to do is follow me on Twitter or, or you know, what I said. And if, then you can just unfollow me later. I mean, that's what I would do to get this purse if I really didn't like me. <laughs> so just do it because this is a cool giveaway. There's going to be some goodies included. Um, so, yeah, I want to do that for you guys, my subscribers, because I love you. So that is all, I think. Um, in the future, I will be doing a few other giveaways because I have some more stuff to give away. <laughs> um, but that's not going to be for a long time. Um, but for now, I'm just doing this one. So thank you. And I will see you on September 2nd with the lucky winner. Okay. Thanks, guys. Bye.